in my sermon today, all I want to remind you of is some simple things. Performing on behalf of the Lord is like David dancing in worship of God. You see, in order to perform for God, you have to be willing to love, honor, and worship the Lord. When you worship yourself, when you don't provide yourself a place to be, you've ruined yourself. In America, we have rights, and people who ruin America want to take away your rights, take away your trophy, take away your treasure every day. And they don't care who they hurt. That's a lie they tell themselves when they came here, were born here, were raised here. It's a lie they tell themselves every day. That lie is, I'm in charge of you, I'm in charge of your soul, and there's no way I'm giving it back to you. And that's just not true. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Lord Odin, Lord Jesus, whatever you call that divine architect in the sky, in the heavens that we usually refer to, is looking down on you saying, why? Why do you think you're me? Why do you think you have the right to be me? Why do you think you have the right to control me? Why do you think I've given you COVID? It's to remind you of your mortality rate, to my, remind your people of how easy it is for me to kill you. You just don't get it. You don't want to play. You don't want to hear. You don't want to see. You don't want to experience the house of God today. You're just that arrogant as a human race. It doesn't matter what country you live in. It doesn't matter what nation you come from. It doesn't matter what your languages are. You just want to be God. But you're not God over me. I am God over everything, says God. And you are nothing but a human. 